Hello again. Uh, so I've kind of refined the two add-ons I've been working on for vehicles and uh, weapons in uh, Armor Reforger. I thought I was just uh, going to give you guys a little update and uh, a little bit better showcase on uh, how to use those two add-ons I've created. Uh, so I'm going to show you the vehicle one first because it covers more or less every point that uh, is for the weapons weapon uh, add-on as well, but I'm going to show you both. Uh, so if we have downloaded a uh, just a test vehicle from Sketchfab on this one, it's already in the game as well, so it should be familiar. First thing you, you got to do is you got to orient the the uh, vehicle against the y-axis. So let's do that first. Uh, and just rotate it like so, minus 19, there we go. So one of the first features you can use is the scaling vehicle. So the scaling vehicle has used the sample car that uh, Bohemia has uh, provided with us, and I've taken measurements of it and created kind of a scaling factor for it. Yeah, a few couple of options for some basic uh, sizes that you can choose. Uh, you can try and insert the real value of the vehicle you're trying to add in, and it will try and scale uh, it to the game size. And of course, custom targeting, if you like that. So, uh, you know, scaling is uh, enormous. Uh, I think it's not that straightforward. It's a little trial and error, but I think this will uh, greatly improve or uh, make the scaling a bit more let's call again, uh, efficient if you want to try, try, try and fail. So I just scale that and I'm going to select everything in again and orient it to the uh, or, um, center. So you, this, you also can probably have to fiddle, uh, fiddle with that bit to get it right, but it will just give you a baseline on where to start. Then we're going to apply all transforms. It's very important that you do this. Uh, if not, all of the <laughs> features there will, will not work. So one of the first things we can uh, try is to say, I'd like to have a door here. Uh, then we can use the separation selection. So we're going to select the model we have. We're going to tap uh, Tab. Then we're going to select faces. I'm just going to select all the faces that I want. That's too many faces. Like this, for example. Let's get those with me. And then you can separate it. You can choose what uh, type that you have that you are trying to separate. So we're going to select door. I'm just going to call it door one, like so. And then OK. And then it has created a door for us. Now I seem to have gotten a little bit more than I bargained for, but that's <laughs> you get to this. You select the faces and then you can separate the object and give it a cohesive name to have it organized. We can try it for this mirror instead. I'm just going to check, select everything there. And I want to select everything here. And then we're going to take separate and we're going to call it window. So if you leave this blank, if you leave the custom name blank, it will just take the name of the the hierarchy and just add it, uh, add the type of it, like window, and then the body of it. Then we have a separated entity from it. And this seems to be something else, so didn't it wasn't taken into a factory since. But yes, uh, that's a bit. Uh, that's the separation selection. And now we have to create a collision. So this I've seen has. Uh, so so if you see this vehicle here, um, it's a bit complex. It has um, like seats and all that stuff in it. So if I were to do this in, if I actually were to import it, I would of course uh, gut this and separate all the objects. But for this example, I'm just going to do the whole car. So we create a UCX collision. This is the, the low face count collision that uh, you want to have for your vehicle. Then you can target faces for it and uh, padding. Padding is like uh, offset of the, of the 
vehicle here and we'll, I'll show you in a bit. But then it will create the uh, shape, the kind of shape of the vehicle. As you can see, it kind of kind of inwards of the model. So that's why we have the offset. So I did it like this and then I create that and I'll increase the offset a little bit. Say. Sorry, there we go. Delete this, select that, create, and I said one. See, it's a bit more out of the um, out of the this bigger offset. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, now we have that. Uh, we can create a fire geo collision. This is a more complex variant but as you see this will struggle a bit because there are so many features in here so if we take for example this one instead because it had a little more simple um, structure and not the seats and all that stuff we can create the fire collision so you have two options here you have the convex hull that's a stable one that's the most common i think you would use but you also have a detailed one and i'll show you both and what they do we create a convex hull and it will create a uh, shape a uh, more, bit more detail, more higher quality uh, collision uh, mesh. But if we delete this one and we create the more detailed one, like so, you can see it got the windows, it has the, uh, the yeah, little, uh, little ramp up here. And it basically takes it almost one for one. one. Uh, but then again, if you look at the uh, faces count, so you have 629 compared to 270. So it's a bit more detailed. But again, you can you can play with the uh, targeting of faces here. Uh, I said it's default at 200, so you can decrease it. But yeah, I will show you why you can select those two. So if we take this, uh, let's see, let's take this chair for example. Let's get this one out. And I'm going to select everything. Let's select this, this, this. Then we're going to do it like that. And we are going to separate it. We This is a seat. So we're going to see uh, one, for example. We go now we have the back seat so if we create now a collision for the convex hole you can see that it outlines the seat but it's not very detailed but if i do it like that and we choose the detailed one so it's a lot more refined like follow the shape of it so then that's a you have two use cases for it i think um if you need it but yes and then we can create let me see we can create the wheel collision so it will just have you select a, a number set of wheels you can have six eight or custom and then you have a bit of a different options for the size of the wheel so it just will spawn like four wheels here around the area of it. But yes, and then we have the vehicle points. This is just empty points for you to um, set. Like you will do with seats and um, uh, cargo and, and where the engine is and driver seat is. It just give you the 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 points that you will have to set. So yes, um, we have that. Let me just try and it's kind of jumbled together now. So let me just try and put it back. And it it's kind of too messed up. So I'm just gonna put it back in again, like that. 
like so. Dun, 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 dun. And skip all. There we go. And apply. Okay, so uh, let me just show you that one more time. We'll spawn empties like where's the co driver, the driver, and passenger, etc. So now we're gonna go to the rigging section. So the first thing you wanna do uh, is to click on the. Uh, let's see, I lost it. There we go. You wanna create the vehicle amateur. It will automatically it will ask you for like what type of vehicle you have, and you can also set custom um, to specify, for example, number of wheels you have and turret. But we have a car, so we're gonna select four wheels, and then we are gonna have these uh, bone spawn. And then we have uh, we go down here. You can see it created the route. Everything that you would have to create uh, yourself is already done for you. So uh, if we find, uh, say, wheel one. There is wheel one, and we try and select, uh, put it where wheel one should be. I think it's around here. Like so, just for testing, of course. Then what we can do is we can parent uh, the wheel to the amateur. So we're gonna select the uh, part we want, parent the amateur. Then we will get. Then it will be placed uh, under the vehicle amateur uh, family or as a child under it. You can click on the wheel and you can click on the modifier and then you can find the uh, V underscore wheel one. And then it should be connected. So we can just click apply. So if we now move this, it will move the wheel. Because it's connected to the, to the, yeah, to the bone. That's pretty much it. Uh, if we go now to the, the weapon selection or the weapon part, we have we're gonna find another uh, model that I have uh, gotten from Sketchfab. See, download AR fifty, so on, so on. There we go. Uh, as well as previously, we have the scaling feature. We can then uh, select the custom dimension and the armor standard. So the armor standard again is taken from the the sample gun. Uh, it's an uh, assault rifle. So you're gonna have to try an error on this one as well, like kind of every gun you have. This one was kind of perfectly centered, so I'm not gonna need to use the center one. But if we were to just show you that uh, a little finicky we can see uh, where it, this one has many small parts so um, if this combined it into one and then center so it's depending on where the center axis on the on the, the gun is but it will not always work i've seen on this gun you can see it's just kind of changes position but again it will align it to the to the center anyway so it's just it's very easy to just move it where you want it. But it, again, it depends on what your gear, the gun you're changing. If you're not adding in like a whole new gun, and you're just uh, replacing the um, the model asset in the game, uh, you have to change this to fit the gun you're replacing anyway. So just to help you a little bit. But anyway, uh, now we have a gun and we need to create the collisions for it. Now I just joined everything together. So let me try and unjoin something. And first of all, I got to remember to apply all transforms. And then we can do this and select all the faces on the gun side. And we're going to press the separation selection. Now. I see a problem here, and it's not updated. So I just copied the existing, like, uh, what's it called again? Uh, 
function from the vehicle one, so this one is going to be changed uh, to fit like sights and guns and instead of cars uh, when I upload this. But anyway, I'm going to put it at others, going to put it at site, site one, just for just to name it. Now, not separated because I didn't get everything, of course. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take wires, wireframe like that. I get everything like that and separate. Yes, that should be a little better. Yes, so we can do the same here as we have done with the vehicle. We can create the collision and it will create the, uh, the mesh for it. And it should be a low phase count, so we get 74. I think that's uh, should, uh, should be very good for armor reporter in terms of what I've seen of uh, phase counts. And then we can create the more complex one. Like so. Now this one is a little bit diff. Uh, it can be a little some challenge. Um, I do recommend maybe uh, either upping the faces or uh, creating it using this one as a baseline. Right. So you can just uh, fine tune it uh, yourself from here. <laughs> But anyway, we can also create the uh, attachment points as the vehicle. And we can do the same with uh, adding a route, emergency route, and then say we want the trigger. We'll just do the same as before. And like this. And get all the trigger. Magnet. Separate. Trigger. There we go. And then I'm going to add the trigger bone. I have to edit that. Fit where I want it, like so. Click the trigger, parent amateur. Click on it. And connect it. And apply. There we go. So yes, I think that was everything. If you have any suggestions to what to add or something, I will be open to hear it. And I'll link both of them in the description to the GitHub.